Hello, this is going to be my review of the Buck 119 Special Knife. Now I'm doing this because my friend Robert, he did a review of a spoon. No, a fork, a dining fork. He wants to do a spoon, he told me I should do a knife. He meant butter knife, I'm going to do this knife. <laughs> uh, don't even ask why we do this, just, just play along, watch the videos, try to be entertained. I don't care. But this is the Buck 119 Special. Let's see if I can get here without screwing up the camera too much. Okay, all right. There we go. Um, it's not a bad knife for the price. At Walmart, you're looking about 40 bucks. At a knife shop, you're looking about 70 for some reason because they like to rip you off. Um, same knife. Comes the same packaging. So it doesn't matter if it came from Walmart or not. It's very sharp factory edge. The best factory edge I have ever seen. Better than Benchmade. Um, extremely sharp, and, um, the, uh, I forgot the technical term for it, but the little part where it's sharpened, um, is a little bit wider than most factory edges, so you can sharpen it yourself a little easier. I know some people that take their knives real seriously, um, they get these and they have a, someone grind it so it's a little wider like this, so you can sharpen it easier, so those really skinny, uh, factory edges that you get a lot of times. Um... Hmm. It's a six inch blade, uh, so even in uh, states that have you know knife laws, Oregon doesn't have any knife laws except for against switch blades or butterfly knives. So I mean you know, but so it'll adhere to as most states' knife laws as far as I know. The handle, the handle is a little. Thick. I even have big hands, and I still think it's a little thick. Um, I mean, not the best, like, tactical knife if you're going to war. But, you know, good hunting knife. I carry this everywhere I go except, you know, college. I think they get, might get a little mad at me for that. Um, yeah. Carry on the street. I haven't gotten bugged by any cops by it yet, so I don't care. Um. Hmm. But yeah, very sharp, very good edge too. It's not a, not a, I mean, I've used this and it's still really sharp. I'm not going to do the paper test because I'm holding the camera, but trust me, this will go through the paper, this will do that little paper cutting test just fine. Um, if you were so inclined, you could sharpen this back up as a factory. It is dull and you do not have to worry about cutting yourself. Uh, I think it'd be cool, but it might make my knife look a little ratty. I like, I mean, it's nice. Um, this is aluminum, this is some sort of plastic, but it, it's a strong piece of plastic. I mean, I've dropped this knife so much. Like, when I get in and out of cars, it undoes the uh, button sometimes, so be careful of that. Um, and when I stand out, it just goes, <clears throat> just flies like 10 feet. It's done that before. And the handle's fine. Handle, no cracks, no nothing. Uh, this little aluminum butt cap here has a few little nicks, but nothing too bad. Um... Hmm. Yeah, don't try polishing it. It's shinier before polishing it. That was a mistake I made. Um, it's a little big for, like, most of my hunting needs, I feel. Like, maybe for brush, but when it comes to gutting and skinning, I tend to, like, smaller knives, you don't cut yourself as much, but it's, it would still work for a hunting knife. I mean, I know people who use bigger knives than this. Um, well, there's my review.